Hi guys, good morning, all of you, fine here? Yes. So in my last video of real number, already I have discussed about the Euclidean division lemma. And what are the different parts already I have discussed about it. So today, in this chapter of real numbers, we will discuss about another part what already I have stated you in my earlier video that is the fundamental theorem of arithmetic fundamental theorem of arithmetic so this chapter is your uh, real numbers real numbers this is for your NCRT class 10 NCRT class 10, chapter 1. Chapter 1. So today we will discuss about the fundamental theorem of arithmetic. Fundamental. Fundamental theorems of arithmetic. Arithmetic. Fundamental theorems of arithmetic. So in class 9, you know, any natural number, any natural number can be expressed by the product of primes. How? So any natural number, any natural number can be expressed as the Product of prime primes unique prime unique that is unique. How let's say two two is equal to two into one, but we are not taking one because we know one is a common factor, so we are not taking one. So three is equal to three. Now four is equal to two into two, or you can write. 2 square. So, for 6, 6 is equal to 2 into 3. So, now here, 2 is a prime number, 3 is a prime number, but 4 is not a prime number. For 6 is not a prime number. So, we must know what a prime number is and what a composite number is. So, let us see. Natural number n. We write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and dot dot dot. We write. So now, we are telling 2 is the prime number. We know it in the junior classes. 2 is the prime number. 2 is the only even prime number. 2 is the only even prime number even all prime numbers are odd except 2 so now what is a prime number prime number prime number prime number it has only two factors it has only two factors what are the two factors? What are the two factors? One and the number itself. Number itself. One is factor for all, so we are not considering one prime number. Now, two is the only even prime number. Now, which is three is prime number. Five prime number. Seven prime number. 9 is not prime. Why not? Because 9 is 3 into 3. You think all numbers are writing all numbers 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. No, no, not like this, not like this. 3, 5, 7, not 9. Now we come to 11. Because 3 is equal to factors, factors of factors. 3, 1 and 3. Factors of 5. 1 and 5. We are not writing 1. Common to all. 7. 1 and 7. Now, you will write 
इलेवन वन एंड इलेवन बट इफ राइट फोर फोर इज इक्वल टू टू इंटू टू सो इट इज फैक्टर्स वन फैक्टर्स वन टू एंड फोर मोर देन टू फैक्टर्स मोर देन टू फैक्टर्स सो कंपोजिट नंबर कंपोजिट नंबर कंपोजिट नंबर आई एम रिकॉलिंग यू दीज आर थिंग्स यू नो अलियर कंपोजिट नंबर इट इज द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ प्राइम नंबर्स प्राइम नंबर्स लेट्स अ सिक्स सिक्स इज इक्वल टू टू इंटू थ्री टू इज अ प्राइम नंबर थ्री इज एन अदर प्राइम नंबर सो सिक्स इज इक्वल टू टू इंटू थ्री नाउ सिक्स इज ए कंपोजिट नंबर इट लाइक एट इज इक्वल टू टू इंटू टू इंटू टू इज इक्वल टू 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 दावर थ्री सो इट इज ऑल्सो कंपोजिट लाइक टेन इज इक्वल टू टू इंटू फाइव कंपोजिट नाउ नाइन थ्री इंटू थ्री कंपोजिट बिकॉज फैक्टर्स ऑफ नाइन आर वन थ्री नाइन सो दीज आर कंपोजिट नंबर्स नाउ इफ यू नो प्राइम नंबर्स देन वी मस्ट डिस्कस अबाउट व्हाट आर को प्राइम नंबर्स व्हाट आर को प्राइम नंबर्स को प्राइम नंबर्स Co prime numbers. Co prime numbers. Co prime numbers. HCF is equal to one. That means if A and B are co prime. then hcf a comma b is equal to 1 that means they do not have any other factors other than 1 they do not have any other factors other than 1 so now we will see the theorem what the theorem tells us what the theorem tells us Here on tell us every composite, every composite number can be expressed as a product of product of primes, product of Primes and this and this factorization factorization S A T I O N or J A T I O N whatever it may be so and this factorization is unique is unique different is unique apart from apart from the order of prime factors apart from the order of prime factors occur apart from the order of prime factors occur so now suppose we will take one example every composite number every natural number is also the product of primes product of prime factors suppose take 105 105 now 105 i will divide it 105 can i divide it by 2 no because the number is divisible by 2 if it has 0 2 4 6 or 8 in its unit place so it cannot be divided by 2 now can it be divisible by 3 yes because some is 6 Can be divisible by three. You know the divisibility test in the junior classes. So now we'll coming three three is a nine. Now thirty five. So thirty five 
can it be again divisible by 3? No. 5 not coming. 7 not divisible by 7 is coming. 1. So 105 is equal to 3 into 5 into 7. 1 is not written. So 105 is equal to 3 into 5 into 7. So you can write is equal to 5 into 7 into 3. Is equal to write 7 into 3 into 5. In any order, any serial, order means serial. In any serial, we can write apart from the order of prime vectors. So now, let us take another example. Suppose 150. 150. So now, 150 is number 150. Now, divided by 2, we will get 75. Now divide 75 divided by 3, we will get 25, divided by 5, we will get 5, again divided by 5, we will get 1. So 150 is equal to 2 into 3 into 5 into 5 is equal to 2 into 3 into 5 square, 5 square because it's occurred more than two times, more than one time, twice more than one time. So, if we are writing the factors, always it is a practice to write the factors in ascending order. In ascending order, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, serial, it will be better. So now, come for the next. So, come for the next. So in 150, I have written 150 is equal to 2, 150 is equal to 2 into 3, 6 into 5 square. So this is in power or index form. Index form. Now we will discuss about prime factorization method. You know about prime factorization method. Prime factorization method. Prime factorization method prime factorization so let us take one example uh, 4620 factorize it using prime factorization method these things you know earlier listen mindfully how to do it just recalling you so now 4620 this is solve product of primes. This is a composite number. Now, now divisible by 2. Because 0 is there. Divisible by 2. So 2 is coming. 2, 3, 1, 0. Again 0 is there. Divisible by 2. 1, 1. 1, 1. 5, 5. Now is it divisible by 3? Yes. Because 6, 6, 12. 3, 3, 4. 3 is a 9, 25, 3 is a 24, 15, 5. Again, can it be divisible by 3? No. So, divisible by 5. 5, 7, 35, again 7. Now, divisible by 7, yes, 11. Now, divisible by 11, yes, 1. So, you can write 4, 6, 2, 0 is equal to 2 into 2 into 3 into 5 into 7 into 11 that is equal to 2 square into 3 into 5 into 7 into 11 so this is prime factorization method how to find the prime factors this is the way we are finding the prime factors by prime factorization method now you will find the factor 3 of 4, 6, 2, 0. 4, 6, 2, 0. Then I will get what? First, 2. I am getting here. 2. Now divided by 2. What is the result? 2, 3, 1, 0. 2, 3, 1, 0. Factor 3. Again, dividing by 2. 5 and getting. The result is 1, 1, 5, 5. Again, I am dividing by 3, 3, what I am getting, 
I am getting here divided by 3, getting here 3, 385. 385. Again dividing by 5. What I am getting? 77. 77. Now 77 is divided by 7. I am directly getting 11. So this is the factor 3. If like this I will give. This is your uh, suppose given uh, 100. Factorize 2 2 x now 2 your y 2 y now here 5 here that's a 5 now find x and y now find x and y. Find x and y. Now, directly from the back, we will move forward. 5, 5, 25. So, y is equal to 5 into 5 is equal to 25. Now, x is equal to 2y. x is equal to 2y. x is equal to 2y. And 100 is equal to 2x. 100 is equal to 2x. 100 is equal to 2x or x is equal to 2y. 100 is equal to 2x or x is equal to 2y. 100 is equal to 2 into x, 2x or your x is equal to 2 into y. Now if you take the value of y, 100 is equal to 2x, that implies x is equal to 100 by 2 is equal to 50. Now if you take y, x is equal to 2 into y is 25 is equal to 50. So, therefore, we are getting x is equal to 50 and y is equal to 25. And y is equal to 25. So, this is about your prime factorization method, factor 3 and finding x and y. x and y. So, now, we will see one example. We will see one example. Let's give an one example. Consider a positive integer. Means natural number. Natural number. 8 to the power n. 8 to the power n where n is a natural number natural n is a natural number now check whether 8 to the power n ends with 0 ends with uh, check whether end with 0 if so find the value of n value of n check whether it will end end with 0 ends with 0 if so find the value of n now see 8 to the power n 8 to the power n is equal to uh, 2 q to the power n 2 to the power 3 n 2 to the power 3 n Now ends with 0 ends with 0 that means uh, there's, 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 this is 0 this is 0 unit plus unit plus unit plus what are the uh, other digits are there we don't know but the number in the unit plus must be zero how it will come to zero because any number let's this one the number x into 10 then it will come zero in the unit plus 
zero in the unit place. Any number, any number, x, any number, any number into ten is equal to zero in the unit place will come. So ten is equal to two into five, two into five or two into five. So if you multiply by twenty, any number, any number, x into twenty also zero will come. Zero will come also in unit plus. Zero will come. Come at the end. At the end. So twenty is equal to two square into five. If we require double zero, double zero at the end. Double zero at the end. Two zero. Unit plus. And tens place multiply by hundred. Hundred is equal to two square into five square. So you can write formula two to the power n into five to the power m should be multiplied number into any factors. So two and five both. Must be the factor to obtain zero at the end. At the end. Here, here, two to the power three n. Two to the power three n. Eight to the power n is equal to three, two to the power three n. No, do not. Doesn't have zero. Have zero at the end. At unit plus. At unit plus. Why? 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 As five is not a factor. Two is there, but five is not a factor. So we will say eight to the power n. Do not have zero. At the end, so if do not have zero, what is the question of finding the value of n? So here yeah, in the next part, we will discuss about the HCF, LCM, and details of the relationship between HCF and LCM. Thank you.